What's up, everybody out there? Welcome back to the channel. It's Brother D, and I'm back with another video. Headed on into work. Got a little bit more business to take care of. And in this video, I want to say that if you don't have haters, you're probably not doing something right. Now, how many times have you heard that in your life? How many times have you heard people say, you know, if somebody's not hating on you, then you probably are not grinding hard enough. Your success probably is not showing enough. It happens. I know for me, throughout my life, you know, you know whatever I do, you know, I've had people say things about me that I don't even know. You know, I don't even know these people, but they have their own um, opinion about who I am as a person and just for whatever reason not take a liking to me and it is what it is uh, no matter how nice you are no matter what you do for people how positive you remain there's always going to be something that people find wrong with you there's always going to be something that someone you know tries to nitpick there's always going to be something that someone has to say about you it just it's just it's the way the world is and i'm here to tell you that it's okay and that you should not let that bother you i've made youtube videos that i felt like were inspiring and motivating and somebody would dislike the video you know for whatever reason Maybe they're having a crappy day. Maybe it's something I said they don't like. I don't know. It's just people do that all the time. But I know people out there who get very upset about stuff like that. Like, why did you down? Why did you down the video? Why did you thumbs down the video? Well, the options are there to like or dislike. And that's just what it is. Some people get bothered by it. Others don't. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much, but it does kind of make me, like, wonder. Like, okay, so nine times out of ten, probably nine and a half times out of ten, most people who thumbs down on the video probably are not going to comment. Some of them might. It just depends. If the, if the content is provoking, then, yeah, you probably will get some comments but if the con if the if the content is not provoking and it's you literally cannot find anything wrong with it and someone downs it they're probably not going to comment and give you an explanation because maybe if, if anything it'll be some some positive feedback you know in the sense of a, a thumbs down uh, to help an individual with their content creation whatever the, or whatever the case may be but um, I, there was a, an instance to where, you know, somebody came to me and told me that they felt some type of way about me. And, you know, I will give the man props for saying what he said because he didn't have to say it. But um, as a man, I respect the fact that he came to me and told me his feelings about me and why he felt the way that he did. And he apologized. And I, of course, I, you know, like a man, accepted his apology and we just moved on. And, you know, being honest and being real just goes so far. But. I don't really understand why there's people out in this world that are just natural haters and just bitter against people who may be in a better position than they are. You know, instead of being bitter, why not get better? Instead of hating, why not work harder? Instead of, you know, assuming, why not ask questions? You know, all of these things you could be doing except for just hating on people all day long. But... In this age of entitlement, of people who feel like that they're owed something and they hate to see people come up on the, on the, you know, rise up out of whatever the case may be, I'm not really surprised that you got people out here that act like that. Um, once again, it doesn't matter how you treat people. You know, you can be nice and you can feed the poor. You can donate. You can just do everything in the world that's considered to be an act of generosity of love and somebody's still gonna find something wrong with it. Well, I wanna let you know that it's not you. It's not, so don't stop hustling, don't stop grinding, keep working hard. 
and let these people be salty, <laughs> okay? Just let them be salty, like sodium in the veins, straight up. Let them feel the way that they want to feel, and you just keep shining, okay? Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it bother you. Let haters do what it is they do best, which is sit on the sideline, um, making comments and not doing anything not putting their right foot in front of the left or the left foot in front of the right, but just steady sitting in one place. That's what haters do, okay? They hate on what they can't have because they don't have the drive and they don't have the ambition. They don't have the desire. But they also want you to be in that position too. They want you to suffer with them. You know what they say, right? Misery loves company. And people who hate on you or who don't like you probably want you to be miserable along with them but smile for them wish them well tell them god bless hey take it a step further and say yo i'm praying for you i pray that god softens your heart you know i pray that the lord takes away that stony heart and gives you a heart of flesh i pray that the lord takes that thorn out of your eyes so that you can see i hope that the lord does a good work in your life you have, that'll drive them nuts, but that's really probably what they really need, honestly. All right, everybody. God bless you all. This is a short video. I just wanted to drop this on you all. Hopefully, um, it encouraged you and not discouraged you because we're here to motivate and inspire, of course, through Christ Jesus. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.